Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and welcome to Our Great House where I share DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. So if you enjoyed that too, be sure and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications and YouTube should notify you every time I upload a video. Today's video is a collaboration with Tiffany from Broke Girl Aesthetic and Fabi from Arrows DIY. That was Captain. He's typically the supervisor on duty when I craft. This is my inspo piece and I saw it at Kirkland's. It was kind of high up on the wall, so it was a little hard to get a good picture of it, but you at least get the idea of what I'm going for. And I'm gonna be using Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White to paint this piece. This is the house, um, this house shape I got from the Dollar Tree. It used to have flowers on it. I removed the flowers and I'm painting both sides because I'm gonna be doing a double-sided sign. The inspo piece on one side and then something else on the other. Now I did use my Cricut to print out the words, feels like home, and now I'm just pulling back on the vinyl so I can start weeding it out. And while I'm not like super great at Cricut stuff, I feel like I am getting better. Now I'm just gonna put the transfer, uh, transfer the, the words onto my little house shape. The words, when they printed out, the letters were a little bit off as far as spacing. So I kind of had to do a little bit of finagling to get it to look how I wanted. But in the end, I think it turned out pretty good. Now I'm adding a rub on transfer that I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'm pulling out my inspo picture so I can kind of see where it was placed and hopefully get it to look very similar to that inspo piece. And this is how it turned out. And I think it looks pretty cute. Now on the flip side, I'm using this transfer that says life isn't all about cats, but it should be. And look who joins me, Captain, he's gonna supervise. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal. It is one of my favorite colors, that and the linen white are my go-to colors all the time with Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint. So I'm just painting it on, I let it dry, and now I'm gonna be just weeding out or pulling off all the, the letters to reveal the white background. And I think it this is a little bit tedious because the pieces like stick to your fingers and you know they're a little hard to pull off sometimes, but in the end, I think it turned out pretty cute. And now I have a double-sided sign. Now this inspo came from Hobby Lobby and I needed Marvin's assistance to drill the holes that were needed in both the hanging sign and the frame that it was going to hang from. And I didn't show you where I cut out this square dowel, but I had a square dowel on hand, cut it out and I'm making it into a frame shape. I'm coloring, coloring. I'm painting one side of the sign white and I'm putting on the words, be kind. A Little bit different font than the inspo piece, but you get the idea. And now I am staining the frame with Rust-Oleum's, no, not Rust-Oleum, Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I'm using that as a stain. And it does get messy, y'all. <laughs> I'm putting home on the other side because, again, I like my signs to be double-sided if possible. Still using that Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal covering one side. Now I'm using the linen white to kind of go over the letters. This is to hopefully prevent it or help it from not bleeding so much when I paint over it with the charcoal. Now I'm weeding out the side that says home and I had just left that natural wood underneath there. I'm gonna paint this side with the charcoal color. I'm trying to give it good coats without going too crazy with it. And now that it's dry, I'm weeding out. Is it weeding out? I don't know. I'm removing the vinyl from the sign. This is the tricky part. I had to put a little bit of hot glue on the end so I could thread it through the sign. And then also I needed the hot glue to be able to thread it through the beads. And then I needed even more hot glue to thread it through the frame. So a lot of hot glue, a lot of wiggling and twisting and turning. 
but I ended up getting it threaded through the frame, which was the hardest part for me. I've got that set up, trying to align it all, and then I'm gonna tie some knots in the top. And yeah, this is how it turned out. And I think it looks cute. There's no, There's no theme or challenge for today's video. We were just told to create something fun. So I'm gonna be sharing with you two DIYs that were inspired from Kirkland's, one from Kirkland's and one from Hobby Lobby. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. It really does help support my channel and it's free to do. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye. And here is another look at the Feels Like Home sign. I think it turned out pretty good, but my daughter Sarah did say that it looks a little bit on the plain side. It kind of looks like maybe I left something off or something, but it looks like the inspo piece, so I'm pretty happy about it. And on the reverse of that sign is the life isn't all about cats, but it should be sign, and that turned out really cute as well. Here's another peek at that be kind sign. I think this one turned out so good. It looks very similar to the inspo piece as well, and it is also reversible. <laughs>